All right, so today is May 26, 2022. Today's the day of my operation. I just woke up, as you can see. It's like it's like 5.15 in the morning. Um, I got to make sure I'm at the hospital by 6.15. That's just like 30 minutes away. So I'm going to just wash my face real quick. One second. Okay, so I just finished washing my face, brushing my teeth, you know, all that good stuff you do in the morning. Like I said, though, I got to be at the hospital by 6.15. I think it's like 514. Oh, I gotta change my shirt. The shirt has like lint all over it and shit. But <clears throat> yeah, so I'm ready though. I did all my surgery, you know, pre things. Um I haven't ate since or ate or drank anything since 12 o'clock last midnight. Um Yeah, all my uh pain meds will be ready after I get off. After I get out of surgery and on my way home, uh, and I will have to bring my new, my new brace, because <clears throat> I'll have to put it on right after the surgery. It's gonna be like my legs gonna be wrapped like in a bunch of gauze, and then they're gonna put the brace like basically right around it, and then I have to wear like that brace like uh, it's like it's like bandages and like gauze. You'll have to wear it for like a week, I think, and then after that they take those off, and then you know. Then you're good without the gauze and stuff like that after a week. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I'm excited to get surgery because surgery sucks, but I know it's one step towards me <clears throat> finally getting better. Oh, it's the biggest step because I know if I don't get this operation, you know, my knee's not going to get any better. So, you know. it is so dark in here, Mom. I can't see anything. Oh, whatever. Are you ready? What time is it? 5 23. Oh, yeah. We should be leaving soon. Let me just put my. Uh, so I gotta grab my stuff. I gotta bring my new brace. It's right there. Um, I think that's it. Pretty sure that's it. Um, yeah. We are ready. I wanted to get a cut yesterday. But I thought about it, and after my operation, I'm just going to be stuck home, so there really is no point. I decided I might as well just take that time to wolf or something. But I didn't want to get a haircut, because I ain't going to lie, man. The nurses be cute, boy. What? But it's all good. It's all good. I'm gonna do to carry my brace. I can't do it. Okay, yeah. So, we're about to leave in a second. Um, I'll probably open this up again when I get in the car and on the way there for a little bit until we get to the hospital. So, I'll see y'all then. All right, so now I'm in the car, getting ready to go to the hospital. I had to stop to get gas real quick. Yeah, man, I'm super, super excited to finally get my knee fixed and get my life back where I want it to be. Um, let's see. I'm pretty much all set, though. I'm not sure what time the operation starts. I know they want me to do that at 615, but I'm pretty sure that's not when the operation starts. I'm not sure how long the operation is. So, you know, but... You know, it's going to be quick for me because I'm going to get under anesthesia. But I mean, it's probably going to be like a couple hours or something. But yeah, I'm going to have to cut like my knee open, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to have a really big scar on my knee. That I won't be able to see, obviously, until I take the gauze off in a week. But until then, yeah. 
don't know if you guys want to take a look at this. This is like a nightly procedure instructions you're supposed to do before surgery. So you look a bunch of stuff. Smokers should not vape 28 to 40 hours before the surgery to enhance breathing. Well, I don't vape, so I'm good. Vaping's not good for you guys. Don't smoke nicotine, bro. It's gross. Um, do not eat or drink anything after midnight. Haven't done that. No water. Anything like that. Um, yeah. Day of procedure. Arrive at the hospital at the time given to you. Your procedure should, could be canceled at delayed arrival or adequate time. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, thank God I'm not going to be running late and I left early. Bring any paperwork or equipment given to you by your physician or surgeon. I have all my paperwork and my equipment. Um, there's no oils. Do not wear makeup or jewelry. Oh, I got to take my chain off. Leave valuables at home. Oof. I'll just leave that shit in my car. But, yeah, man. We're all set, bro. Um, you know, just ready finally get this over with uh apparently when i get there here at the advent health wesley chapel location they do prayers before your surgery so um i'm a couple people are gonna come probably come in before my operation and you know set up a prayer for me so that's gonna be pretty cool could use it but other than that you know so i will see you guys when i get to the hospital Just got to the hospital. It's what time is it? 6.09. Just got to the hospital at 6.09. And right now I'm just waiting in the waiting room for them to call me in. Uh, I'm sure it's not gonna be that much longer because it's 6.09. So probably in about five, five minutes they'll probably call me in to take me back. So until then I'm just waiting. Uh, yeah. probably check back in with you guys after they take me back and everything like that. Alright, so they got me all hooked up to the monitor, V, all that stuff. And they say it's like part of my leg. So it was crazy, but the surgery starts at 10 30, and it's not even seven o'clock in the morning yet. <sighs> so the surgery is from 10 30 to 12, so I should be out of surgery by 12 o'clock. And by then, you know, hopefully they fix up my knee and everything will be good. But the nurses are super cool, they're really nice, I like them, so I'm hopeful. Um, I don't know yet. Um, apparently, they have they, they send a prayer. They do a prayer before your operation at this hospital. Yeah. So at some point, I'm gonna have people come in. They're gonna like do me a prayer. They're gonna pray with me. So looking forward to that. That's gonna be fun. But yeah. So the next time I see, I'll probably like update you guys after the operation. So. You know, for me to be able to come in and just. All right. So uh, I'm still waiting on my surgery. It's like three hours, but I have less than a time, but it's like 8 30, so I still have less than like an hour, so I'm very sorry. They gave me some shit. They gave me some, I don't know what it's called. I think it's a nerve block, but yeah, I think they gave me a nerve block and some other shit that's supposed to make me like, you know, chill. So, which it is, as you can see. I really like I'm so like drowsy, like I have no energy. I'm like just vibing, bro. I'm vibing. I'm vibing right now. I'm chilling. Got watching NBA TV. Oh, uh, yeah, 
the heat loss last night. I don't want to hear about it. They're still gonna win the series. They're still gonna win the finals. That's so okay. Heat in seven. You heard it here, folks. Yeah, but, yeah. I'm too tea to talk right now, so just giving a little clip, little clip to add from the vlog. Let's we'll see, y'all. Uh, So I just got out the hospital. I'm on the way home. The surgery went good. Um, I'm not in a full cast and gauze like I thought I would be. I kind of just have a, like a bandage where the incision is, but I mean, it's whatever. But, you know, as long as it's good, I mean, I don't care. But yeah, other than that, um, the surgery went really good. I'm happy. Um, I'm on my way home now probably gonna stop by the pharmacy to pick up my pain meds because i'm gonna have to take those as soon as i get home because once the nerve block is gone i'm gonna be in a whole lot of pain so i have to make sure once i get home i take those um yeah, i want to see my leg so yep there it is here's my new brace this is the bandage that's covering my incision and yeah, uh, the doc, the nurses said that I could put weight on my leg gradually, like build up to it. You know what I mean? So slowly, I'll be able to start, you know, putting weight on it and working towards like walking and things like that. The only bad thing is, um, since I took me a while to get my surgery um, and had to keep my leg straight for so long. Um, the doctor said it's going to be really hard for me to start getting that range of motion and my knee to bend it. So that's the only thing that's probably going to be a problem. But, I mean, it's just going to take time and, you know, how much work I put into it and towards taking care of my knee. Um, but I'm making sure I take care of it the best I can. You know, I'm going to work on doing whatever they tell me, whatever I have to do in physical therapy whatever I have to do diet wise I've changed my diet I'm making sure I get all the nutrition in my body that it needs to help you know to help the tendon grow and repair and stuff like that so right now I'm on my way home so I'll just check back in with you guys after that all right so I'm home now um everything went well the doctor said the surgery went good the only thing he said that kind of concerns me is that since it took so long for me to get the surgery, it's going to be hard for me to bend my knee again because there was a lot of scar tissue and stuff like that they had to remove. Um, but, I mean, you know, it's just going to take time. You know, it's a long process. And it's a long process. So I'm happy, though. Everything went great. You know, the surgeon was really, I liked my surgeon. He was really cool. A good guy. All the nurses were cool. Yeah, they were. They made it a pretty, you know, good experience for something so horrible. But you know, right now I'm just eating because I haven't ate since last night. I'm starving. I have to start taking my pain meds. I'm not gonna lie, this shit hurts. It's no joke. Like my nerve block hasn't ended though, but I still feel like. Pain, so I can only imagine once my nerve block is gone, it's going to be excruciating. So, yeah. Going to make sure I eat. You know, and then once I'm done eating, I'll make sure I take my, uh, my pain meds. But, yeah. So, that'll be it for my vlog today, the surgery vlog. Um, everything went really well. The next time I do a video is probably after my um, first week since the surgery um i'm not gonna see the doctor though until a two week up so but i'll just do like a one week up just to tell you guys how i'm feeling and um you know my experience and like what's going on how the leg is doing things like that they told me i can like gradually start putting weight on it i'm a little worried though i'm kind of scared to put weight on it honestly so i mean i'll probably check back in with them on that and like, you know, maybe just like, you know, start putting like a little slight pressure on it here and there, but I'm really not gonna 
try to do anything with it, to be honest. I feel like, I don't know. But, I mean, they're the medical professionals. So if they tell me I can do it, then I can do it. But, um, yeah. So that'll be it for the vlog today. Um, you know, I'm super happy, man. Everything went good. I'm really happy. It's still a long road from here, though, because, you know, I still have to go through physical therapy. There's still the recovery process. And it takes, I mean, I've heard it take it takes months, you know. It takes a really long time. Because tendons, you know, tendons aren't the same as muscles. Tendons don't get the same blood flow that muscles do. So when you injure a tendon, it, you know, it, it's harder to come back from it. And it takes longer for it to heal because it doesn't get the same blood flow that a muscle would, do, would get. So, yeah. But, you know, it's a long road, but I'm ready for it. Um, I'm just happy to know that, you know, I took that first step towards getting my knee better. And, you know, it's got to be patient and make sure I do what I have to do to take care of my knee. So I will check back in with you guys after my first week. All right.